Finestra. And our purpose is to open the power of finance for everyone. We're creating a pioneering open platform that is disrupting the industry and changing the way financial software is developed and used. As a large global organization, we are big enough to be pushing boundaries in a tight-knit community where each and every employee feels they can bring themselves to work. We're about two things here at Finestra. Firstly, inclusion for all. No matter your background, gender, ethnicity, or sexual orientation, you can belong at Finestra. Secondly, as a data-driven organization, we make data-informed decisions when it comes to hiring. If you haven't already, you'll receive an email from your Finestra recruiter with the subject line, Finastra assessment invite with a link to two assessments. The link may go to your junk mail, so please make sure you check there as well. The first part is the aptitude assessment. The criteria cognitive or universal aptitude test has been proven to be a great indicator of your success here at Finastra and allows us to assess your abilities without bias. This assessment looks at your problem solving and critical thinking skills by looking at maths, spatial reasoning, and verbal skills. For the CCAT, there are 50 questions and you have 15 minutes to complete these or 22 minutes if you're eligible for extra time. The UCAT has a more limited verbal component and you'll be asked 40 questions over 20 minutes or 30 minutes if you're eligible for extra time. If you think you'll be eligible for extra time, for example, if you have dyslexia, please let your recruiter know so the right assessment can be shared with you. The personality assessment will be the second part that you need to complete. This isn't timed, but it usually takes around 20 minutes to complete. There are no right or wrong answers in this section. We're interested in understanding you and how you like to do things. So try and answer as honestly as possible and don't overthink it. At first glance, the CCAT can look intimidating, but don't panic. You don't have to get all the questions right in order to shine. As a best practice, aim to answer at least 80% of the questions. So here are some hints and tips to make sure you get the best result you can. Take the assessment using a laptop or a desktop computer with a mouse rather than a touchpad. Do not use a mobile device. Also ensure you're in a quiet, distraction-free zone with a strong internet connection. Read the instructions. The most common mistake is rushing through instructions. There is no time limit for this part, so make sure you take the time to read and understand everything thoroughly before you begin. Be conscious of time as you only have a limited amount to get through the questions. It's best not to spend too much time on one. If you find that you're struggling with a particular question, it's best to make an educated guess and move on. There is no penalty for wrong answers. Play to your strengths. Give yourself the best chance by focusing more time on the questions you're most comfortable with. For further help, there are practice tests available online. We strongly recommend trying at least one of these beforehand so you feel well prepared. If you have any other questions ahead of taking your assessment, please get in touch with your recruiter. Thanks and good luck.